god. We so, have officially made it. We are here. We are at, is this Virgo or Airbnb? I don't know. Airbnb. Whatever. Airbnb. Um, quite the drive to get here. So, Shout I'm the designated driver for this trip. <laughs> we did rent a car and it's a normal car, but you have to drive on the left side of the road. And it's also like this very hilly and literally roads. vertical. And we're using Google Maps to the best of our abilities, but it's like hard to like tell exactly where you're supposed to turn. Yeah, there's like so we not did a lot get of a little bit right angles around. with the roads and stuff. And so it's like, do we turn here? Do we keep going yeah. kind of straight? But we and made like it though. some of the roads, like just you know, we're not used to driving on roads like this. Yeah. But we did find our we Airbnb. Made it, yeah. We we're made it. We're gonna get our stuff in and the car. We're gonna give you guys a tour because we have a beautiful view. Yeah. So, so lovely. Lots of exciting things to show you guys and then we figure out we're here for I want to say three days or something like that and then we are going over to St. John's and do the second half of our trip there. We're doing the car ferry so wish us luck with that. Also we thought this Airbnb might be a scam like not really but it was just like no I think it was like new so there was, were no reviews and it was so no, cheap which is we were like okay but then we were like it's cheap because they need people to stay to get reviews so we didn't get scammed. Let's give you guys a little tour. So this is our driveway. I'll try and get a better view here because it's kind of blown out right now with the lighting. But steep driveway. This is the door open. place. It's, you know, with this kind of weather, it's like a mix of indoor-outdoor vibes. Look at this beautiful plants. And we'll give you a tour. So I'm standing by the door right now. All the lights are on. We got area. futon here. Someone might sleep on here, otherwise we'll all squeeze into the bed. Um, uh, table. Area. I don't know how much cooking we'll do here, but you know, maybe we'll get stuff for like snacks at night. And then main bedroom. So this is the bedroom. Realistically, it'll probably just fit two people <laughs> in here. TV. They even have some games for us. And we were really excited when we saw this that there's a washer dryer because I'm sure this was listed on the listing but we didn't remember if it had washer dryer so we're very excited about that it's just a basic closet and I got the bathroom pretty basic bathroom got a nice little shower the window you can look outside see all the greenery go out this way look at this View. We've got our whole little balcony to ourselves and just a gorgeous, gorgeous view. And we've got beach chairs we can borrow, some chairs and stuff. Back in the front now. There's a beach chair, an old chair. I don't know if we'll use that. I finally found the AC, like thermostat control, was hiding behind the bedroom door. And I think it took us like 15 minutes to find the yeah, tier seat. So, Sierra got two points. We have a point system now. I got five points for driving. I have two Nine points for finding the AC. <laughs> yeah, she picks a place for dinner. She can get one point. point. Um, this game so, right now, I mean, we're kind of just cooling off a little bit, getting our bearings first. Never plan anything. Or like the first immediately upon arriving. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, I thought when we were driving, like it was sprinkling. A TBD, um, we figure out probably gonna go to dinner at some point, and then kind of game plan what we want to do tomorrow. Maybe stop at the convenience or grocery store to pick up a few things for making stuff here. Okay, we have decided um, to just do dinner here because there's actually there's like ramen in here and some snacks and whatnot. We tried calling a couple different. Um, places for delivery and every place we called either wasn't delivering or they didn't deliver here so we were like okay we're it was it being our first night here we just like not a lot of lights on the roads we are yeah. easing into uh, our comfort level with driving and like that last like the final road to get in it's, it's just like really it was kind of a doozy I'll have to show you guys one of these days. yeah so with their with it getting dark and like not having lights obviously the car has lights but we're just we're easing in. We'll talk about that maybe later. And Maggie's also got something she's trying to work on for a job interview. Like she has like an assignment she has to do. So ideally, maybe she can get it done tonight, and we can kind of get a game plan of what we want to do tomorrow. 
um, so that we have a good idea. Dinner in paradise is served. Chicken, ramen noodles. There's literally a dog outside. Hey, I'm so sad. Uh, hi. <laughs> He probably just like lives around here. Is that a probably. Hi, buddy. Yeah. We're planning exactly. out our day tomorrow. This map came with the place. No, but the place. It's it's kind of funny. It came with the car rental place. Oh, I thought it was here already. Um, so, where are we on this map? Right here. How do you know? Because <gasps> the American one. Lurk in the book. Um, wow, we gotta explore all over. So, since the convenience store is in town. Okay, I've got the futon all set up. I'm just gonna read a little bit until I get tired enough to fall asleep. It's only 9.10, which is seven o'clock our time, but given that we were traveling all day and we woke up super early, I'm already kind of tired. I'm currently reading Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I'm like halfway through the book and it's pretty good so far. Um, we're supposed to read um, What Happens in Paradise, all three of us together on this trip because it takes place in the Virgin Islands. So I'm trying to see if I can finish this book early on in this trip so that I can then read that second book. Um, but unfortunately, I feel like I'm gonna start reading and then just like fall asleep. Good morning, everyone. It's our first full day. Like, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's our first full day in St. Thomas. So we are getting up Nice and early, everyone's getting ready a little bit um, because we are planning on going to Drake's seat and it's a little lookout spot and to watch the sunrise. So, sunrise is supposed to be at 6.36. I know some you're supposed to maybe go like pretty early, but it's honestly still rather dark out. So I feel like we'll be okay. This is a little get ready situation. I know we already did like a tour, but Sierra and I have like our little LL Bean. You're just sad. What? I have some. Flossers, you know, last night, or not last night, when I packed my stuff and I opened this, like four of them flew out oh. on the floor. Alright, sun's rising a little bit, so All hopefully right. we can get... You get front seat, so I don't have a <laughs> Okay, I'll try and show you guys some of the drive on the way out of here. I can't really even tell, like, how steep this is, I feel like, but... Oh, just wait till the steep I did say that I would show you guys. Sharpish right turn up here. And then also imagine your ass not knowing like which driveway and there's like no markings at all. Yeah. Hey, at least we got here when it was still bright outside. Right here. Sharp. Right. Look at that. Oh gosh. This is like the nearly vertical one, I feel like. Woo! Pedal to the metal on this one. Okay, we'll talk to you guys when we get there. Okay, we made it to the lookout. It's just kind of an area. Drake's not you can here though. Park your car. Um, I mean, the sun's already kind of up and it's cloudy, so what kind of sunrise we'll see, I do not know. They're doing a TikTok, I guess, per Maggie's request. I think they're using the sound that's like something about wake up in the morning. I don't know. Okay, it is seven o'clock. Sun has basically risen. I put a time lapse in, I think, to show you guys. It was mostly the clouds moving. The sun or the sunrise didn't really change much because it was covered by the clouds. Uh, but it's still a nice We're morning. We're going to um, get some stuff at like a coffee shop called Northside Grind. It's not too far from here. Um, we were trying to find because like there's a couple different places we were wanting to try out, but like. We needed a place to open at like 7 a.m. when we finished doing this and like a lot of places didn't open until like 8 or 9. So this is what we're doing today and then um, we also after this are going to stop at like a little general store, convenience store to get some food and other essentials to have back at our Airbnb. Alright, I think we're going to buy a resort but the north side grind place is over here. There's also quite a few cats roaming around so maybe we'll see one and some chickens. It's one of the cats. Hi, little guy or girl. OK, 
Okay guys, what do we think of the north side crying place? I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. I didn't like my smoothie. It was too smoothie for me. It was too it real <laughs> of a smoothie. I like like fake smoothies, like tropical smoothie. Mine's pretty good. I got strawberry banana. Powerball, zero million. Okay, we made it to the new Mandel Market. Hopefully they have some good stuff. Do they have chocolate chips anywhere? Okay, we made our pit stop number one. Got a few essentials and then Megan looked up a Walgreens. I happened to find that there's a Walgreens close, well, like a nine minute drive away. And we still need to get some other things that they didn't have here like I wanted to try and get beach towels, ice, pop, water, so all that stuff they had here, but not in like a good bulk yeah. size or something, so we shall go there. Oh yeah, we could do some damage at a Walgreens. <laughs> oh no, don't drop stuff. Back. Did Come we even on. show that he was here yesterday? Yeah, it was dark out. He's coming back. No. We're not even allowed to let pets in here, so we can't do that. You can go say hello. Him. Let's go pet him. Can I bring okay, this is all of our swimsuits. He's pawing at the door. He's like, let me in! Let me in! <laughs> um, so, swimsuits we're wearing today. Sierra's gonna wear this, this one. This you guys could use our codes. Sierra 15. Oh, he just ran back up the stairs. Oh, goodbye. Sierra 15 or Megan Marie 15. Oh. This is, I'm going to wear my yellow one today. And then Maggie, what are you wearing? I guess I'm wearing this one, which is also Twin Daisies. Can they give me a code? You got to apply. This is actually Megan's old swimsuit. Yeah. So. Shout out me. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing the swimsuit that I had just shown you guys. Uh, and then I've got like a white linen set on. Top is buttoned up from Aerie. And then these pants are from Hollister. If you watched our packing video, I already showed you guys. Maggie is finishing sending up something that she was working on for a job application. Megan's changing, and hopefully we'll be packing up and getting ready to head to the beach here pretty soon. Okay, OTD. Oh, getting ready to go to the beach. Um, my button-up is from Abercrombie, my shorts are from Abercrombie. The key is from Dippin' Daisies. Use my code MeganMarine15, 15% off. The fly can be set at multiple times by this block. My shirt, or my top is from Dippin' Daisies, but it's actually from Megan. This is from American Eagle. These are from Amazon. We have made it to Megan's Bay. Is that what we've decided it's called? Yeah. Got our setup. We're kind of going by this table in case we want to claim that for later. Here is... Okay. So what's everyone reading? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep reading Vicious. No. I have to. Oh. For today. Well, I'll go with your bit, Sierra. We're all reading. Is this your bit? Well, I don't. I can't read that today right now because I don't have it downloaded. We're doing a book book club at some point. <laughs> book club. <laughs> well, I'm the only one doing what we're supposed to be doing. So what are you reading? <laughs> so I'm reading. Uh, what happened in paradise? What happened in paradise? By Ellen Hildebrand. Yes, we're reading it because a few months ago. I'll make ago, sure I start it. It takes place in St. John, yeah. doesn't it? So, like, you know. Well, a few months ago, I read Winter in Paradise, and I was like, oh my god, it takes place in the Virgin Islands, so we should, you guys should read the first one, and then we can read the second while we're here. While we're here. So that's what we're doing. It's I might, finally come to fruition. It's hard. I'm not just not reading it yet. I am reading uh, Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. It's his autobiography. It's kind of been in and out raining and stuff, but it's around noon, so we're gonna go to this place over here to try and get some lunch. What's 
What's it called? Do you know? Megan's Bay Brown Grill or something. Okay, so it is 12.30 right now. We are leaving the beach it's right like now. It's 4.30 though. Um, even though like as we're recording this, the sun is like shining and the weather is beautiful. It's been like raining kind of on and off um, since we've been at the beach. And so like there's this shelter that we were kind of huddling under every once in a while. But then uh, someone that worked at the beach said that someone had rented it out. So like no one could go under the shelter anymore. So we opted to, right now we're heading back to our Airbnb. And then we're regrouping to figure out. Like really what we need to think is like, the world is our oyster. We are in charge of whatever we want to do. Yeah. Is there anything that would be more fruitful that we want to do? And like saving like a whole beach day, like for tomorrow or something when we don't have to keep like, like, like right when we would get like in the groove, it'd be like, oh, back to the shelter because it's yeah. raining. So. Sorry for the lighting being backlit, but we are back at our Airbnb. Um, I managed to send the G7X photos to my phone and I shared them with everyone. So we're kind of doing a little midday check-in of how everyone's feeling photo-wise. I'm feeling like I definitely like have some that I could post. Yeah. Not, nothing that I'm like, oh my god, this one for sure. But like, good, like I, good I could, like, could post something. <clears throat> but we're also thinking, we know like, obviously like the easiest picture to do, like especially for multiple people, is like the classic like, hands behind the back, smile, look at the camera. And it's been a while since we've like been creative and taking pictures we want and need more candidates. So that was a, a commonality. It's a learning experience for sure. Um, weather has honestly cleared up a little bit. It still might kind of be in and out with rain, but we think we may try to do a hike. We just made it, parked the car on the side of the road. Um, I'm only going based off of like this one travel post in this article, which, you know, shout out to them, because sometimes you need like the specifics of whatever you're doing. So we have to supposedly go to the gate people, because this is basically like a hike in a gated community, and then it gets us to like the most western point of the island, supposedly where like the Caribbean and the Atlantic are on like either side of the little sandbar. Um, so we need to go like check in and do that and then he should hopefully or she send us on our way all right we are starting our hike hmm? we didn't get the security guard's name and i'm sure they switched him out but that guy was a was a time he was a hoot yeah why did we get his name what we should have asked anyway uh he gave us some brief directions but it's pretty straightforward i think my thighs already hurt <laughs> it's raining so much right now, you guys. Like, we might have to turn around. Like, at this point, it's just the vibe. We're hiding under feet. It's not really working. Oh, no. sorry. Should we just keep walking? <laughs> Megan, <laughs> Okay, after all of that, look at, I said this earlier, I was like, once the sun comes out, which we know it will, I was hoping, we're gonna be like, this is worth it. The sun is out, it's shining, who knows, it could rain and pour on the way back. But, here's the beach. I might have to be fact checked, because I only saw like maybe one comment on like the All Trails website. But I think on one side of this, they like consider it the Atlantic, and on the other side, they consider it the Caribbean, which technically like, you know, same-ish thing, but I don't know. Okay, it is four o'clock. We have finished our hike. We actually stopped. There's a nice grocery store here. My third grocery store of the day. Um, oh my ready. god, it's been a long day. All right, Botany Bay. Uh, but this one had like. We also markets. found out. Granted, we did this for the purpose of doing a hike. That's why we did it. But we found out after we came back that there is a shuttle, golf cart, whatever, will go much, much closer to the final destination, like lookout spot, um, 
and it goes at 4 o'clock. And we just got back here, here at 4 o'clock. Um, but granted, like, whatever. We, we weren't looking for a shuttle service to get there. Good news. Instagram posts have been posted. And now Maggie's going Everyone to... Everyone go below so you're up because she hasn't posted in five months, so... Like four and a half. Maybe if you all like love her so much, she'll be like, oh, I should really put her here. Yeah. Um, anyways, Maggie is going to show me how she does her slick back pony ponytails because I've tried it and I've been unsure if I like how it looks. I'm not doing one tonight because I just washed my hair, but she's going to show me. The curlies are getting ready. Maggie's got her slick back Don't look ponytail. Don't close. All done. My best. Megan's changed. Um, we're gonna take turns probably getting ready in the bathroom. There's not a lot of space in there. Okay, I don't know if you're for this coming back from dinner, but it is 10.46. I'm tired. I just brushed my teeth. Um, I'm sleeping on futon tonight. So I am basically going to go to bed. I might read for a little bit, but I'm also like, I could literally fall asleep probably in like two seconds after I start reading. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy day two, I guess, kind of a full day two of vacation. Um, it's 8 a.m. right now. There was such a crazy storm last night. It was genuinely like the loudest thing ever. It sounded like we were trying to sleep through a tornado. I it was didn't help with this. The roof is like metal, so that only made it worse. But like, it was literally so. It loud. was insane. So it was insane. Like I genuinely, like I woke up and I just tried to like read her a little bit because I was like, I can't sleep right now. I shut my ear and just Like it was, it was insane. Did you and Maggie wake up at the same time? Or? Yeah. I, I woke up a little bit. And I was like, it's raining. What am I to do? And then like, I was still awake. And then Maggie like, kind of like <laughs> shook awake and like tapped me on the shoulder and she's like, what is that? Okay, um, anyways, we are going to make some pancakes for breakfast this morning. Oh, she's beauty. Alright, we are going to do our outfit of the days. Um, so, swimsuit is from Dippin' Daisies. You can use my code if you want. My linen pants are from Grey Bandit. And they're my little cover-up pants for the day. And then I'll probably bring my white button down from Abercrombie. A very similar outfit. My swimsuit's also from Dippin' Daisy. You can use my foot if you want. Um, same pants I wore yesterday. We also, so far at least, we've kind of been like coordinating swimsuits a little bit. So, just, you know, for pictures maybe and see if it works out. We're getting ready to head out right now, but we have a little unexpected visitor. The dog didn't stop by yesterday. We have made it to Sapphire Beach. So this one is more like on, like with resorts and stuff. What? It's a very commercialized. Yeah. So we have to go out Maggie, we found some ice cream for her. Maybe for later. And we're just setting up our stuff. are getting burnt and it's oh, not yeah. nearly visible. Um, it's a little bit before three o'clock right now. I think we were there for like five-ish hours basically. Um, we ate there, which maybe you recorded. Yes, yeah. I did. Um, just like a lot of relaxing, laying out. We started our little yeah. book club thing. I had finished Vicious, but Sierra decided she was going to start the book and I was feeling left behind. So I was like, I should start the book too. Otherwise, then there was a place here that has ice cream that we were like, we got all situated. We were going to, we walked on over to go get some ice cream to find out that they closed at two o'clock and it was like 2.30. So, so we are now we're going to business. Because we're like, ice cream. I also like, we were running out of sunscreen. So like we cannot just like keep laying down. Yeah, it's unsafe at this point. My neck, I feel like, is so fried. Like at least the back for sure. And my shoulders. So we're for sure getting ice cream, and then we'll kind of figure out what we're gonna do next. Using cream, and then two chocolates. 
We are back at the Airbnb. Um, we're gonna take turns showering and stuff now. I think now that we've really had time to like sit and settle with the aftermath of being at the beach, we're like, oh, we're like, we're all pretty burnt and in a little bit of pain. And, like my neck, you guys, you can see that. You can see it. My legs, I can feel it. So I'll we'll have to regroup, figure out if we need to get like aloe or anything. Um, and then TBD, we had a couple, we had an idea for tonight. We might like talk and see if we're changing anything. But we're gonna shower, regroup, refresh ourselves, and then I'll probably talk to you guys in a little bit. So how we are managing to rally. We are all so comfy and cozy, like resting after our showers, and we're all still a little bit in pain from our sunburns. But we had a plan, a plan, we're sticking to it. So um, our plan is to go to Charlotte and Molly, if I think I'm saying that correctly. It's an area on St. Thomas where there's a lot of shops and restaurants and stuff. Um, so we are changed, getting ready yeah, over there. there. Um, I'm wearing this high neck top. I mean, I packed it anyways to, you know, just wear at some point. But I have such, like, I did great putting sunscreen on my neck, like bring it from my face down to my neck. And then like I got to my chest and I just completely ignored it. So this high neck at least, at least makes me look. We're all wearing pants. That's ridiculous. ridiculous. It's a little bit chillier here at night, but also like, I have, my legs are all red in the front. So now you're just my chest is super red. Mm -hmm. And it was a little bit chilly last night when we were sitting outside for dinner, so I think uh, we're bringing some jackets or sweatshirts just in case it gets cold. Um, and plan is just kind of walk around. If there's any shops uh, down there that are open, we might pop in some of the shops. And then at some point, I'm sure we'll try and find somewhere to eat dinner. Okay, so we are now walking in the Charlotte Amali area. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, most of the shops and stuff are closed because it's past seven, uh, but we're finding a restaurant to eat at to get some dinner. We are back. We are kind of getting ready for bed, finishing up another load of the laundry so we can kind of have all fresh, clean clothes for the second part of our trip. We're in so much pain. We, we're feeling it still. We're tomorrow. gonna get some aloe and some more sunscreen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, the plan for tomorrow, since it's kind of a transition travel day to St. John, um, our Airbnb over there, we can't check in until like 4 p.m. And so we're gonna, and we can check out here. We have to. As long as we're done by 11, we have to leave. Um, but then I think we're going to go to Mountaintop, which it's is actually basically recommended like, to us by that security guard that we saw yesterday. Yeah. And it's basically like an overlook thing. You can see a bunch of the islands around here and there's like a giant touristy souvenir shop, which we can buy said sunscreen and aloe, hopefully. I need some bandages for my blister. Maybe we can do some souvenir shopping as well. And then um, we have to catch I booked us on the 2.30 car ferry to go over to St. John, and you're supposed to be there like an hour before. So like that probably will be like our morning and day. And then hopefully by the time we get to St. John, we can go to the Airbnb basically. And then I don't know what we're doing tomorrow night. Maybe we keep things, things light. Could, I was going to say we could hot tub, but that might hurt with, with hot. It might, <laughs> that might hurt with the summer. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Um, we all just woke up like around eight o'clock and we're gonna make pancakes again for breakfast. Um, we're all still very burnt, but I do think generally they're looking a little bit better. Um, so we're gonna make pancakes and we're probably gonna work on packing up and just cleaning up a little bit. Make sure we're out of here by 11. The big challenge of the day today is going to be the car ferry because if I don't ask one of the workers to do it then like I need to be the one backing up to where we're going to back up to on the ferry um so that'll be a, that'll be an interesting uh part of the day but we'll worry about it when we get when we get there John looks beautiful all right we are changed ready for the day everything's packed up and relatively clean so gonna load up did one last kind of walk through got all the sheets and stuff 
put up. And then once we get everything loaded, we'll be heading over to Mountaintop. All right, just locked up, saying goodbye to this beautiful view. And we're on to the next one. Okay, we've made it to Mountaintop. So I am getting some sunscreen out because I need to put some sunscreen on my legs. I don't know, my chest is so sad. Um, and then we can't even see the view yet because I think we're like, I think I feel like it's covered or something. Right. I don't know. Um, this is apparently, they have world famous banana daiquiris here. I don't know if I'll try one. Here's the outside view, the mountain top. So it shows all the islands and then it even has like a little map out here to help you identify which islands you're looking at. So that one over there is Hans Lawit. And then St. John is over there, which is where we're going later today. And there's another view of the bay that we were at. That's the same bay that you could see from our Airbnb and then that beach down there is the one that we went to on our first day here. Literally just finished eating our pizza and I was like, you know what I could go for? <laughs> A sweet treat. Um, so we stopped at Sunny Day's Ice Cream and I got a scoop of chocolate and then a scoop of chocolate chip and cookie dough. What'd you I get? got cookies and cream and chocolate. We also freshly reapplied our sunscreen, let it be known. We're trying today and putting sunscreen on burned skin hurts, so it's not fun. Because we, have to, we had to get lotion sunscreen. Yep, so. we're really committing today. Now we're getting ready to try and enter the ferry. So, Maggie and I, to the best of our abilities, we'll help Megan get on. I paid online for the round trip of uh, the Big Red Barge. The barge is behind us. Are you ready? <laughs> Barge. We did it. We. Megan's the only one that did anything. 